I'm getting a phone call right now. What the hell? Hello? Hello, Ray. Hi, uh, who am I speaking to now? Oh, you're speaking to Michael. Uh... I feel like we have something we need to talk about. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I just fucking flew out my vehicle. Oh, there was power. Oh, I'm good. I'm so sorry. Who is this? Do you need Russian CPR? Michael. Ow. Michael, I'm a. S oh, my God, yes. I need to talk to you. I'm so sorry. Very bad timing. Very bad timing. No, no, no. I'm good now. I'm good now. I just flew out of my car. Some oh, ass okay. respected to me. Well, that happened. <laughs> I'm good. All right. Michael, yes. So I would first, yeah. First of all, I uh, I don't know. So apparently people, people are talking, people are saying shit. First of all, if you haven't heard already, I still want to thank you for what you did. Because if it wasn't for you and the guys, I, uh, I would probably either be dead or in jail forever. So if anyone didn't pass that on to you, well, I guess they didn't do their job. So, so there was that. The other thing is, I've heard that you he said it to have beef with me, and you he said to it. He literally said it. Me. Something like that. So funny enough that you say um, that thing that you just said, the thank you, was never passed along to me, and any of the beef that might have been there was literally just me trying to get in touch with you over the fact that nothing was said or or anything in the fact that listen i i didn't know who you were before i was called upon i didn't know what i was doing i didn't know what i was risking i didn't know anything i kind of just went to the job saying hey i'm ready to fuck shit up if i'm being called upon by my my close friends you know it was, mm. uh, it was dean that called upon me so i no i don't get called upon by my friends like that very often you know so no, i got you um when i went to jail for terrorism and treason and there was another one out of these hot charges that were destroying my life potentially right i didn't mm -hmm. hear anything didn't, didn't know what was going on uh, the only person that visited me was dean and uh, so the, the thing is so dean was the one that got you into this right he was yes. the one that asked you to help out okay mm -hmm. so after the entire thing i met up with dean and everyone else uh i told dean to pass on to you that if something if you needed something from me if you needed any sort of compensation, if you needed weapons, if you lost anything, he was supposed to tell me so I could compensate you. Because the fact that you guys did this and went into it and helped me out means a lot. So I'm not just ditching people. I don't like this isn't just somebody, you know, I'm, I'm just using people for something like. I, I helped out AP, I helped out JJ. Uh, I provided them with, with stuff after the fact that, you know, they got left alone again. So Dean hasn't told you seems to be a bit of an issue because I asked him specifically to let you know. Yeah. Um, if you want to hear from me, I wasn't told anything from anyone, including Dean. Okay. So that's where you can imagine my concern or my anger uh, somehow mm -hmm. built up. Uh, I didn't know what was going on. I thought it was kind of just like, oh, used, you know what I mean? And it felt like shit, and I just, I never had any anger against you. I just wanted to talk to you. Okay, that's I think, fair enough. I well, think no, I came I, across I, strongly when I, when I tried to say that, right? Yeah, no, I get you. Like, I, it's understandable because you feel like you were used and left out in that case because nobody reached out to you, nobody said anything. I'm assuming that's, that's how you felt. Yeah, of course, that's yeah. exactly what it is, yeah. Okay. Um, can I ask another thing? So mm -hmm. this entire idea that your way out of this would to be would would be like getting rid of me and you would get out of your charges and everything. Who told you this? So you want me to be honest about this, right? Um, yeah, I, am I have throwing, a rough idea. I'm throwing someone under the bus if I do that. But mm, in, if that's the case, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. And like you don't have to tr throw him under the bus. You can just you know you don't even have to say yes or no. Just hint at it, but would it have been Murphy? So, I'm, I'm just curious. How did you hear about the fact... There's only one person I talked about with this. Actually, two people. So, um, how did you hear about that? Because if the person you heard that from is most likely the person that said it to me. Or... The... I didn't really hear it from anyone specifically. So, the thing is that for everyone else, they used Murphy as their lawyer. Yes. Everyone but AP. AP used Hayes. Yes. And I asked 
I asked a AP if if Hayes was the one that came like up with this idea, and he said no. Well, so that leaves out that guy pretty much, and that just leaves Murphy. And the thing is, Murphy, well, he he, he seems like a competent lawyer, right? But at he the is. same time, he's also very close with both CG and to some degree with you guys. I'm not entirely sure. Um, to be honest, I'm not. Uh, entirely sure. I know he's uh, Dean's lawyer, is what I'm hearing. But, okay. uh, I mean, all I can say is I only had one person I was speaking to. Um, I don't want to obviously be thrown under the bus with anything anymore. No, you know? But uh, you can probably imagine probably imagine mm -hmm. who it would be. Yeah, that, it's fine. Like You don't have to. So... I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be speaking to some people. I mean, I, you you get what I mean. Like you could. Yeah. You know who my lawyer yeah. was. Yeah. Well. You know who my lawyer is then. I mean, it doesn't doesn't take very much, right? You seem like no, a smart no, man. It, it's fine. Like I, I like I said, I don't want you to throw anything. He knows everything. Us. What the fuck? This guy yeah, literally knows I everything just already. Get not in what? the right direction. Because Holy shit! Uh, to be honest with you, he probably lied to you in that case, because even if I do go away, or even if I do never come back, those charges are still going to stick with you. So it's not going to help you in this case. So why would he tell me to do such a thing? I'm just curious. What would benefit him? I am not sure. It seems like he likes to cause conflict. Uh, I think he's, his, his primary motive was to help out CT to get rid of me, so I wouldn't drag CG into anything. I see. Okay, alright. It's interesting because I thought you had a good relationship with CG. No, I do. I do. Like, Miguel and I are real close. Uh, and I talk to CG on, well, not a daily basis, but I talk to him. So. But uh, he is their lawyer. I don't know Murphy. He doesn't really know me either. So he's, he's looking out for them. And if that is his, like, in, in his opinion, that's the better option, is to just get rid of me so I don't, you know, cause issues for them. It could be why he would tell you to do it, because that would, you know, he wouldn't have to do it himself, or he would have someone else. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I mean, at that point, I, I can I could see where he would be coming from. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I, you know, I never really wanted to carry out the plan. Because I thought about it myself, too. Killing you would only cause me more issues. As I could already tell from what the conversation I had with Nick, you know? And uh, mm. what Miguel did falling. You probably heard about well, all that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to let you in on, on, on something as well. Like, I feel like I owe you that much. So I talked to Miguel after, after the fact, that every, like, after everything happened. And he said like, if he was in your shoes and if that was the way out, he probably wouldn't hesitate to do it either. But because Miguel and I are so close, he, he he didn't want to, obviously. So, like, to some degree, I don't, like, everyone else seemed to want to go the same path if it wasn't for the fact that he was in a, like, in a close relationship. Like, we were that much, like, such good friends. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. So. But if... <sighs> I just wanted to obviously talk to you about it because, again, you, I don't know how much you know, and I don't know how, like, if you know what I do and what I can do. It I, is not. I, I've been told. I've been yeah, so it, kind of informed from, uh, you might know him. Uh, very obviously, Dean, friends of mine hmm. have told me that you're uh, an individual to be worried about, or not worried about, but to be careful around, you know? Hmm. Dangerous. You know, there are obviously terroristic charges for a reason, right? Yeah, um, well, you can say that. Yeah, and um, obviously, Buddha told me to be careful around the Simone family if I was trying to do anything stupid like that, as we told me. Yeah. So, All obviously, right. you know, I, I, I'm i going to clear the fight, this, especially right now, because I'm on the phone with you. I don't think this is going to happen very often. I'm not trying to kill you. I was trying to speak to you. Okay. And uh, I was hoping that, actually, what we're talking about right now would happen. Yeah. Uh... To be honest with you, you need to be careful what you say in that case. Like, I... Like, the fact 
So I was told what happened when you met Nick. Mm -hmm. And just those words has caused a ripple effect. I understand you know? it. So I will I will talk to Nick and tell him that he should leave you alone for now. Or okay. like leave you alone. Because he I think he's been looking for you for a while. <laughs> I understand. Can I can I ask what he told you I said? I'm just curious. Um from what I remember he said that you came up to him asking if I was Mick, or he was Mick. And then when you turned around and left, you said, well, that's good, because if you were, I would kill you, or something in, in those. So, I, I said this to Miguel, because mm. it's often something that happens. Words are always, you know, when passed from the word of another, or the mouth of another, they're always, like, misconceived, right? I said mm -hmm. to him, I want to find out if you're someone I should kill or kill. I wanted to talk to you, since this is what I said to him. And I walked away. That's that's right. literally my words. I said, like, I want to see if you're someone I should someone sh I should kill or talk to. It's literally, I just want to talk to you about things. Because well, I, I want to find the impression if you, you know, thought I was just a disposable pawn who was someone who you could throw away. You know, in that case, I would be a little bit more angry. I don't know what you think about me. I am not that. Well, so the issue with that is you would have been better off saying that you just wanted to talk in that case. Of course, but I was angry. With everything... Yeah. Well, yeah, I know. It, 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 I Again, I don't really blame you, but with everything going on and with how, like, how people are, they are not going to hesitate, especially with things like this, because there is a lot of people depending on me and what I do as well. So, that, and, and again, that's why people helped out in the first place. Yes. So, but that makes I, yeah, sense to you. yeah. But again, like I wanted to call you and just let you know that I do appreciate what you did. And like again, still, if you like, if you figure out what you lost and how much you lost, I will definitely compensate you to, you know, obviously reasonable <clears throat> amounts. No, I appreciate that. I mean, what the dragon off and the all the charges I was hit with. I, I mean, that's, that's just about it, right? I I don't know what you could. I don't know what. You have the disposal, right? I don't know your resources or the such, but honestly, whatever you think is the best for what I did is, is up to you. I'm, I'm not going to ask for very okay. much, you know. Yeah, no. Uh, in that case, I'll figure something out. Um, I'll right. let you know. Just um, if if do if cops do come poking, the fact that I called you. Oh, is this your actual number? Bullshit. Yes. All right. So just tell them that I called you and you hung up or something. Like, yeah, obviously don't want to talk to me because of all the shit going on, babe. I see. All right. Uh, yeah. In that case, no worries. But, uh, I've been keeping low profiles, so don't worry. People don't really keep track right <laughs> Fuck! now. Fuck! <laughs> I see. Yeah, no worries. Holy Ready? shit. That's... I hope cops the, don't... <laughs> shit. <laughs> no, you're fine. Trust me. Benji has been calling me daily. Old voice Benji's so been calling you daily. Know. Yeah, he's an idiot. Jesus Christ, should I, is, it, I don't think saving your number is an issue, right? I don't think police can check that, right? Mm, probably not, but in, if anything, just save me as some bozo or something. Yeah, actually, good idea. Very true. So, all right. Um, I won't be calling you from this number again, don't worry. Okay. Thank all you. Right. I well, appreciate that, Michael. And, and I want to yeah. say thank you for, for the call. It means a lot. Yep. You're welcome. Have a good day. Holy shit, what a phone call! I did not expect that tonight! Ray, I'm gonna go pick up the tea. Alright, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, let's go. I, very, right, very, right, very, very, now, very important phone call no, for me. Trust me, I know who the... I, I, ah! I was there. Sorry, I was I'm there so sorry, guys. This is a phone. very important phone call. Let's go. Alright, Benz, we're coming to scrap right now. We're also, no, that no, motherfucker no. almost killed me! Really? Huh? Yeah, and who are we missing? Yeah. Alright, Conrad, he's on the hill. Conrad, Conrad, come down. Please. Holy shit, that, that phone call, chat. Oh my god, that was a big phone call. Nice RP, thank you, chat. That was a huge phone call. Oh my god. Hey, we just squashed a lot of issues, which is amazing, because now I'm not going to be hunted by the two Simones. Before the Tom Sawyer incident. Have I already picked up the... That was a big phone no, call. What happened? I, I was on the phone with Michael Simone. On, I got my 
really? Really? My inventory open right there? Hmm. I got a phone. Anybody need a, a new phone? Yeah, at least my mic one Simone for now, but... No, I stole a new one today. Oh. I mean, now I also know the other thing, chat, is I'm being Ooh. hunted by... by Nick Simone. <laughs> 